Hey everyone, this is Eli from ChichiCheckIt.com here with an After Effects tutorial. And today we're going over a very cool effect. Uh, if you didn't see it in the intro somehow, if you're blind or something, or you were getting something to eat real quick, uh, here's what we're learning today. It's a very nice galactic scene where uh, you have the stars floating in the background and a nice 3D particle time to the music which is awesome and it's very easy and you guys can make a lot of money off this but before I get into this tutorial please you guys give this video a like for all our hard work and give it a favorite and share it because uh, I really do work hard on these and so does Brandon we both uh, put our heart and soul into this stuff so please give it a like for all our hard work and also if you leave a comment I will reply to every single comment no matter how stupid so if you say like um, Brandon's weenus or something I will reply saying something funny or witty to it so go ahead and uh, talk to me and I only do that for the first couple days so don't think I'm gonna be doing it <laughs> forever guys and also new minecraft episode coming out this Sunday so stay tuned alright so yeah without further ado let's uh, jump right into this so first thing you're gonna wanna do is create a new composition so go down to this create new composition button click it I'm gonna use full 1080p and uh, at 30 frames per second or just about you know just uh, I like 29.97 cuz it makes me look smarter <laughs> so yeah um, before we get into this let's drag this audio this is just the audio Tyler Clark made for us so just drag the audio you want to use into the little blank canvas area over here and let's just drag it down to here and uh, now we're going to rename it. Just make sure you have it selected and then hit enter and then name it to what you want. I'm going to just call it audio. Yo. <laughs> All right. So now let's make a new layer. You can do that by hitting control Y or going up to this uh, layer new and we're going to make a blank solid. Now uh, I already have it at pur this dark purple and we're going to call it background and um, you get, you're gonna make it whatever color you want you guys um, I'm gonna use a dark color because that's what I recommend and I'm just gonna use this dark purple just because I think it looks kinda cool make it the comp size and hit OK so now that we have our background let's go up to the uh, rectangular tool and go down to the ellipse tool let's zoom out using the scroll wheel a little bit and let's uh, go to the top left and just drag an ellipse down and uh, it doesn't have to be perfect right now just make it kind of the size you want and uh, let's take a closer look at this um, basically what I did was I zoomed in using the scroll wheel then I pushed down the space bar and then if you click and drag you can uh, move it where you want and I'm holding down the space bar too so hit the space bar hold it click and hold and you can drag it where you want to see it so that's just me zooming in on this area so I can get a closer look at the mask so I'm gonna put the feather up a lot to make it a very soft look going on that actually looks good to me and make sure that it's uh, just centered to the eye it doesn't have to be perfect so click on it and move it over a little bit maybe move it up a little bit just move it to where you want it alright so that looks good so next let's hit control Y to create a new solid once again we're gonna call this stars we're going to go down to this uh, little color selector and we're going to make it white and hit OK. So next you're going to go up to, with that layer selected, the stars layer, hit Effect, Simulation, CC Star Burst. And that'll just make a, a very cool star effect thing where the stars are flying at you, kind of like on Star Wars. But that's kind of crazy, so we're going to make the size about, what, like 25, around 25. We're going to put the grid spacing down a bit, maybe two. We're going to turn up the scatter a little bit. That looks better already, and we're going to turn the speed down a lot. Like, uh, I would recommend zero to two. I would never go past two because it just goes so fast for this effect. I mean, look at that. It's going so quick already. You see that? sparkling and stuff so you don't want to make it too crazy alright so the stars are looking kinda of bland so let's go up to effect stylize glow and let's just give it a nice little glow uh, this is all up to you guys I'm gonna put the, the intensity down a bit and the glow radius down 
just a tad bit just to give it just a slight glow see that just giving it just a really small not not too crazy of a glow and now that we have all that done um, let's uh, create the fade for the stars and to do that we're just gonna make another new composition by hitting control Y and we're gonna call it star fade well let's call it stars fade yeah and uh, make it a black layer make it comp size and hit OK and uh, now go up to the rectangular tool let's zoom out a bit and make a huge selection just right beneath the stars you see that right about there and then let's go to the mask and drop it down let's uh, do the mask feather up let's do quite a bit of a feather let's do it right about there and uh, I just noticed that everything is kinda low right now so I'm going to switch to the move tool and I'm going to just move everything up so let's move the stars up real quick let's move the background up because everything was kinda low and what you saw with the star fade um, since we made it the composition size all you have to do is click and select and then drag this uh, the actual comp down a little bit for that star layer or whatever it is um, and just make it look how you want it I'm gonna I want quite a bit of black so I'm going to keep quite a bit of space right there so yeah that looks good so I just fixed that up a little bit now that we have all this done now we're getting to the actual form and uh, if you haven't noticed already, I had a uh, form up over here because I tried this effect. Couldn't get this tutorial right. But uh, let's uh, go Control Y. Control Y. Why isn't it working? There we go. Control Y. <laughs> Make sure you have that selected down there for it to work. And uh, let's name it Form because that's what we're going to put the effect on. Now, uh, it doesn't matter what color you make it, make it comp size, just hit OK. So we have that layer. Now, you can do it by going form and searching for it and finding it right there, trap code form. Or uh, you can search for it just in the actual effects and presets. Just scroll down and you'll find it. Now, form is a paid program, so you're going to have to buy it or there's other methods of getting it, but that's illegal. So be careful when you do that and uh, yeah so once you get form you can actually do this effect and it's amazing so just click and drag form onto this layer and uh, let's get right into this this part is quite uh, quite extensive so I'm gonna try to go as fast as I can okay guys first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to the particles in Z and turn it down to one because it automatically defaults to putting three different layers on and that is just something you do not need so put that down to one size it up to where it touches the edges doesn't really matter exactly how big it's all up to you guys I'm gonna just make it to where it barely touches each side next I'm going to go to particles in X and I'm gonna put it up to like 400 just around 400 doesn't have to be perfect and then I'm gonna go about half that you know around the 200 area and then uh, that's pretty much done right there look at that look how easy that was next is the particles change it from sphere to glow sphere keep the sphere feather at 50 make the size 1 the opacity let's put it down to like 30 like 35 35 looks good right yeah 35 looks good and uh, yeah now you're done with that we're just going right along aren't we skip shading go down to quick maps go to the opacity map and I can't see right now so I'm gonna there we go we're going to make this opacity map we're gonna select the fourth one down where it's that fade right there because this is just creating the actual map that all the particles are how they're gonna look next we're gonna go to color map and we're gonna select the fourth one down and now change these colors to what you want them to be um, I'd recommend using a bunch of different colors but not not like two polar opposite different colors you know not like red and green that'll just look weird so I'm gonna use green and I'm gonna keep it in the purples kind of a thing you know so the next one I'm gonna make kind of a bright purple and the next one I'm gonna make you know bright kind of 
tealish blue. Then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna create kind of a bright green again and then keep it at purple. And then this uh, map opacity and color over, we're gonna change it to X. Then this uh, map one, we're gonna change the opacity to this and this is just the life of the mat. It just goes, just cuts it right in half. It looks good. Then we're gonna change it from size to opacity and then from off to radial and basically you're, you're gonna see a bunch of changes you probably can't see it going on on mine but I'm telling you this is how it it'll look really good okay just trust me on this these are the settings you're gonna want then after that now it gets to the actual audio reaction so let's go to the audio layer and change it to audio yo because that's what I renamed it now you're going to change the reactions. So uh, the strength, this is where it depends on the song you chose. Because if you chose a song that has a lot going on, you're going to want to put the strength down because it's going to go crazy. But if you chose a song that, you know, is just a piano and a voice or something, you're going to want to put that up to like 150. I keep mine for this song at 40 because uh, that looked the best to me. Now the map we're going to change to fractal and then we're going to change the delay direction to x outwards. All right? And now the delay max second, that's uh how long it takes for the impacts, you know, for like the sub kicks and stuff to reach the outer ends. And I don't like keeping it that high. I put it to about 0.4 because it looks like it's behind if you keep it at like one or something so I keep it at about 0.4 but that's just my personal opinion if you think it looks better at you know one second that's a whole second then you know for all intents and purposes do it do it your way you know I'm just teaching you the basics so yeah let's go to fractal field now this is the last thing we're going to affect with this effect go to fractal field and go down to displace and this is where it starts doing the th doing the craziness that you you want it to do. You see that? Look at that. It starts going crazy. And uh, I would uh, put it to about you know 200 to 300. That's just my opinion, though. Do what you want. And after that, it's done. You just did everything you need to do for the effect. But we're gonna make it look more pretty now, and then create a camera. So. Uh, let's go to effect with the uh, form selected go to effect stylize glow and we're just gonna put you know I, the default glow looks good enough for me like I think that looks good but you can mess with it and do what you want to it next uh, with the same form selected we're going to use another plugin by trap code another paid plugin and this is all what I think lo looks good so if uh, you don't like this next part, then don't even buy this next thing, okay? It is called, what is it called? Um, oh, I can't even think about it. I have to find it. Uh, scroll down and go to trap code. There it is, shine. See that? Boom. So just drag and drop it either in here or on top of it. doesn't matter. It'll go to the same place. And uh, as you see right now, it just you know blew up and just made this crazy shine thing it just looks bad so we're gonna change the transfer mode to add then we're going to change the colorize to none then uh, we're gonna leave it alone for now until we change the camera angle so you can get it exactly how you want so it's already looking good and if you start rendering it you know hitting zero if you just hit zero then you can see that it's actually already audio reacting and it is timed to the the music and it looks great already but uh, let's hit zero see that here I'm gonna to do this next part you just click inside this area then you hit the little squiggly button above the tab key and it just makes it full screen so you can actually see what's going on so hit zero let it render and uh, once it does a little bit I'll, I'll let it uh, do a kick real quick if it will come on maybe I already did it oh no good enough though you guys can see that right now see it's already reacting
reacting to the audio, which is cool. And to get out of that, you just hit the squiggly key above the tab again, and it will take you back out. All right, so once we have the effect looking okay, we're going to go up to Layer, New, Camera. And we're going to create a new camera. It's going to be a one-node camera, and uh, we're going to use the preset for 35 millimeter, and then just hit OK. Now hit the drop-down menu right there, and hit the drop-down menu for Transform, and it will bring up all these options. We're only going to be messing with uh, the last two in position and the first one in orientation. I'm going to tell you guys the numbers I typed in to get mine matched up how I like it, but this is all up to you. You can position it wherever you want. You can push, position it on the side if you want. You can position it upside down, and it'll still look good. Anything you do will look good, but here's the numbers I chose. So for the second one right here, I put 1388, so basically uh, 1388, then negative... 457.7 for uh, the second part then click off of it then go to the first orientation and then we're going to just use 71 see that and with those three manipulated it created it right where I wanted it right in that area but yeah uh, looks good and uh, we're gonna go back to the form and we're gonna go back to the shine effect that we put on and we're going to mess with the source point we're gonna mess with that we're gonna drop it down to about the midpoint so then the rays shine up and then uh, just mess with it until you get what you want I'm gonna turn up the the uh, boost light a little bit and I'm gonna turn down the ray length a bit and then with that you are done now just uh, make the comp however long the song is that's why I told you to drag in the song before you did anything because uh, really that will determine how long the video is so yeah just make sure you do that but since mine isn't that long I'm going to drag the composition trimmer right here I'm gonna right click I'm gonna go trim comp to work area and look at that looks great wait I should probably show you guys how to render real quick too huh that'd be a that'd be a good idea so let's just select one of these just to make sure we have this bottom part selected go up to composition make movie and then we're gonna go to lossless we're gonna select the full quality quick time make sure it's at photo jpeg right there and then uh, make sure the quality is at a hundred percent and hit ok now make sure you have the audio output selected and hit OK. Now rename it and we're just gonna save it to the desktop. We're gonna call it um, YouTube Poop just because I can't think of anything. So save. Now hit render. And then there you go. Uh, while it renders you can see the beautiful piece of art you just made. And I will show you how it turns out at the end. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm sorry this tutorial wasn't so funny. It's just uh, I'm really tired and I think I'm getting sick so I can't think straight and uh, yeah so please uh, just talk to me and love me wish me the best of luck trying to sleep tonight <laughs> I'm gonna try I think my throat's starting to get hurt and stuff but it's whatever um, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, expect a Minecraft episode this sun yeah this Sunday and um, be excited for Brandon's new tutorial coming out on Tuesday. He's making something awesome, and I'm so excited. Uh, it has something... Oh, I, I won't give it away. It's awesome. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and check out the thing you just created.